Welcome to Listertainment, the channel that promises entertainment but never delivers. After what happened in the fight this past weekend, I came up with the idea of making a list where the boxers got angry after their corner stopped the fight by throwing in the towel. I really thought I was going to find more, but I could only find five, although I imagine there are many more, and they are just not on YouTube or I could not find them for some other reason. Let me know in the comments of some other occasions where this happened because I would like to make another video because I love watching these events. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe down below. Also, please be sure to turn on those notifications. In 2016, Kell Brook fought against Gennady Golovkin in London. Kell Brook was going up from welterweight to middleweight to face Golovkin since, as we all know, many fighters were ducking Golovkin. As always, Golovkin started fast by pressing Brook, but Brook reacted very well throwing good punches and landing several clean shots although they did not affect Golovkin in the least. In the second round, he had his greatest success, but his eye socket got broken. And after this happened, Golovkin took control and started beating up Brook too much, which led Brook's corner to throw in the towel to try to protect their fighter. Brook was surprised that his corner threw in the towel because at that very moment he was inviting Golovkin to throw more punches. Then he said that in a fight of this magnitude he should continue and that his coach should not have interfered because as a warrior he wanted to continue and be knocked out. He also said that Golovkin doesn't hit as hard as they say, <laughs> but we all saw that Golovkin was destroying him and this was the best thing that could have happened. There is no need to receive such a bad beating. In January of this year, Steven Nelson and Kemp Kelich met. The two boxers are just going up in boxing, so both of them had a perfect record. In this fight, Steven Nelson outworked Kelich and had much faster hands that were beating his opponent to the punch. He was getting such a good beating that the German Kelich's coach stood at the edge of the ring and asked to stop the fight in the eighth round. They were both hitting each other a lot, but Nelson was getting the best and strongest hits. Kilich just raised his hands to his side asking why they stopped the fight since he was also throwing punches and had not stopped at any time. But his coach noticed that his production had decreased considerably so he stopped the fight and protected his fighter. A bit of everything. I think we called out almost every Yeah. But he stopped the fight. He's up on the apron getting ready to stop the fight. And he has stopped the fight. It is over. Steven... This fight is probably the most mysterious on this list. In 2015, Ricky Burns faced Prince Ofatsu when the corner of Ofatsu threw in the towel in the fifth round for no apparent reason. All the spectators, experts, Ofatsu, and even Burns were surprised by what had just happened. No one could understand why they threw in the towel since Ofatsu was competitive in the fight. Burns was winning the fight, but Ofatsu kept throwing punches and was not hurt at all. He's up against a two-wheel world champion and uh, the corner man is bang out of order. Well, that's an absolute shocker. And he was the most shocked person in the whole arena. I mean, Burns looked disgusted as well. And, yeah. On the contrary, Ricky Burns even went to the corner of Ofatsu and asked them why they threw in the towel since he wanted to keep fighting. Ofatsu was obviously angry and even seemed to not want to return to his corner and did not speak to his coach. Apparently, they stopped the fight because the coach had warned Ofatsu to throw more, but since he didn't listen, they stopped it. This is one where the boxer is absolutely right to make a show of the stoppage, since he was not doing anything wrong. Well, we arrived at the most recent fight where this past weekend Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury met for the second time to decide who is better. Clearly, Fury is much better and he proved it in this fight, and the first one too. The first one was one of the biggest robberies in boxing history. But in this fight, Fury was able to show that he is better and was able to knock Wilder down twice and finally beat him so badly that his corner had to throw in the towel. Wilder is a terrible boxer and all he has is his extremely powerful right hand. And worst of all, he doesn't even know how to throw punches to give his right hand more opportunities to land. Fury is a tremendous boxer who moves as if he were much smaller and lighter. I think that Fury is going to beat all other heavyweights that are in contention for the title at this moment. 
Wilder's corner had to throw in the towel because his boxer was not defending himself or dodging any blows. He was constantly being hurt and hardly threw punches back. Wilder was pretty angry and went straight to his corner to shout at them, asking why the hell they just did that. But his coach calmed him down pretty quickly. Who knows what he told him. Just coasting back into that neutral corner and now Fury's looking to split the guard as Wilder's in bad shape. This the fight is over. This Team King, the lone undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury. Again, we have to include Floyd Mayweather Jr. in this list. This time, he was facing Diego Corrales in 2001, when Corrales' corner threw in the towel in the 10th round. Another mark of what a performance it's been. Ray Woods is up on the apron. That's going to be the end of the fight. And Corrales goes over and nearly accosts his dad. The person who stopped the fight is Corrales' stepfather and coach, but he was so angry that he shoved him, asking why the hell did he just do that? Well, the reasons are pretty obvious. Corrales was never able to catch up to Mayweather and land a good punch, and in the end, he only landed 60 of 205 punches thrown. Mayweather used his incredible speed to hit Corrales a total of 220 times. He also knocked him down three times in the seventh round and another two times in the tenth round, with the last knockdown being the last reason as to why they threw in the towel. Corrales said after the fight that he was still angry because although he had been knocked down several times, he was fine and had a clear mind. He said a champion deserves to be able to finish the fight if he keeps getting up, and that's what he was doing. There were only two rounds left, but Mayweather was winning comfortably and there was no reason to continue this futile fight. Like all warriors, these boxers wanted to keep fighting and didn't want to lose any way that they considered to be humiliating. The only problem is that these fighters are too brave and are not going to give up even if they are losing clearly, as is the case of Corrales, Brook, and Wilder. After they see the fight, they will probably be able to understand why their corner threw in the towel. Because they were getting beaten up and did not need to receive so much damage from a fight that they could no longer win. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.